Hello, my name is Tanya Mathur and I am here to illustrate on the topic Development of Clinical Trial Protocols. Now, as we all know that for every process or a procedure, there are always a certain set of plans or rules to abide by. And like in every aspect of the industry, even for the ethical conduction of clinical trials, there are certain set of protocols that are designed in order to detract any kind of mishappenings or issues. That brings us on the development of the clinical trial protocols. Now what is clinical trial protocol? To define it, a clinical trial protocol is considered as a document that describes how a clinical trial will be conducted. That is, it includes that the objectives, designs, methodology, statistical considerations and organization of a clinical trial. It also ensures the safety of the subjects of the trial and the integrity of the data collected. That is, if the data collected is accurate and in accordance with the required parameters or not. Now we can come to how a protocol can be developed. Now the protocol development in complexity depends greatly upon the type of clinical study being conducted. For instance, interventional, multi-site, greater than minimal risk studies require more protocol content than minimal risk and single site models. For example, if we are using a drug that is multi-site targeting, that means the, the clinical trial protocol will be more complex and more elaborate. Whereas for high risk drugs like narcotics, for that too, the clinical trial will be much more elaborate than for those that are over the counter drugs like paracetamol or ibuprofen. When developing a successful study design and writing a protocol, the researcher must address various essential components. Every component has its own characteristic feature for which it has to be included in the protocol. It plays an important role. For example, the types of data being collected, that is the safety data, the laboratory data, the data handling and record keeping, outcome measures, how monitoring and reporting of the uh, clinical trial will occur and also it includes the data analysis. This brings us to the constituents of a clinical trial report. What a clinical trial report will include? Now according to the ICH E6 Good Clinical Practice Guidelines, a clinical trial protocol should include the following information. That consists of the title page for general information, background information, objectives or purpose of the clinical trial report, study design, selection and exclusion of subjects, treatment of subjects, assessment of its efficacy, assessment of safety, adverse events, discontinuation of the study, statistics, QC and QA, ethics, data handling and record keeping, publication policy, project timetable or flowchart, references, and the supplements or appendices. Now what will be inculcated in the general information? For that, these are the general info of the clinical trial that is being conducted, like the protocol title, the number that identifies the particular clinical trial, the date, and the amendments included name and address of the sponsor and the monitor. If there is no sponsor of the clinical trial, there are certain people who monitor it. So the details of the monitor have also to be included in that. Name and title of the person authorized to sign the protocol and protocol amendments. Name, title, address and telephone number of the sponsor's medical expert or dentist. Name and title of the investigators who are responsible for conducting the trial address and telephone number of the trial sites, name, title, address and telephone numbers of the qualified physician or dentist responsible for all uh, trial related medical or dental decisions if other than the investigator, names and addresses of the clinical laboratories and other medical or technical departments and institutions involved in the trial. That says that the, there are certain people who are associated with the clinical trial. 
the details of those associated people need to be inculcated in the whole report. The background information. The background information of the product and the clinical trial. That includes the name and description of the investigational product, a summary findings from non-clinical studies, summary of known and potential risks and benefits, description of and justification for the route of administration, dosage, dosage regimen, and the treatment period. A statement that trial will be conducted in compliance with the protocol, GCP, and applicable regulatory requirements. Description of the population to be studied and references to literature and data. This shows that the product and its details, available details, need to be included in the report. The trial objectives and purpose that for why we are conducting this trial, a detailed description of its objectives and the purpose should be inculcated. The trial design, how we are going to design the trial and what are the various uh, steps or parameters that are being considered, like the primary endpoints and the secondary endpoints to be measured during the trial, description of the type, design of the trial to be conducted, for example, if it's a placebo controlled design or a parallel designed clinical trial and also a schematic diagram of a trial design, procedures and stages. A description of the measures taken to minimize or avoid the biasness like we use randomization or blinding techniques. A description of the trial treatment, dosage, dosage regimen, dosage form, packaging and labeling of the investigational product. The expected duration of participation, sequence and duration of all trial period, including the follow-up. A description of stopping rules or discontinuation criteria for subjects. Now, there are various instances where the subject is unwilling to undergo that particular clinical trial. Then there are certain stopping rules or discontinuation criteria for that. Accountability procedures for the investigational products, including the placebos and the comparators. Then we get to the selection and withdrawal of the subjects. There are certain instances where we cannot uh, include certain set of people or a certain with a certain age limit or certain gender. For that, we have subject inclusion criteria, subject exclusion criteria and subject withdrawal criteria. Treatment of subjects. The treatments to be administered, including the names of all products, doses, dosing schedules, route of administration, treatment period, follow-up period, and other uh, details associated with it. The medications or treatments permitted, due, including the rescue medication and the medicines that are not permitted during or after or before the clinical trial. Procedures for monitoring subject compliance. There is also assessment of the efficacy of the clinical trial. For that, we can include the specification of the efficacy parameters, methods and timings for assessing, recording and analyzing the efficacy parameters. Like that, we have the assessment of safety, for which we include specification of safety parameters, methods and timing for assessing, recording and analyzing safety parameters, procedures for eliciting reports of adverse event and intercurrent illnesses, the type and duration of the follow-up of subjects after the adverse events. Now we come to the statistics. There are certain statistical studies that need to be conducted along with the clinical trials. Now those statistical studies need to be inculcated in the report. So a description of the statistical methods to be employed, including the timing of any planned interim analysis need to be included in the report. The number of subjects planned to be enrolled, reason for choice of sample size, including calculations and clinical justification, the level of significance to be used, criteria for the termination of the trial, Procedure for accounting for missing, unused and spurious data. Procedures for reporting any deviations from the original statistical plan. 
these certain uh, pointers need to be included in the report. Along with that, there are certain ethical considerations that need to be included as a description. These are some of the references I used. Thank you.